Okay, so this is the tenant where I want to add Microsoft Learning Pathways. First thing I need to make sure in this tenant is I go to the SharePoint Admin Center and make sure that the app catalog is there. Okay, if you don't know how to add the app catalog, if you don't see the app catalog, that's a separate topic by itself. But make sure app catalog is there. Next thing after that, you want to go to this location here. Now, how do you get to this particular location where it says Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways? I'm going to go back for a second. So the main first location I went to was provisioning.sharepointpnp.com. Once you're there, view the designs, solution, Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways. All right, you're here. You want to click on Add to your tenant. You'll see surprisingly that it says this application is not published by Microsoft. Now, obviously, Microsoft is the creator of this application, but because this is not an official supported application, rather an open source project, and that's the reason it's saying that. If you're okay with that, click on the consent on behalf of your organization checkbox, click on accept. Okay, so this is the email address that I want to be contacted at. The default parameters, which I will go ahead and accept, click on provision. It's making sure I have the app catalog set up and everything else that's needed. All right, so it's telling me over here that the app, which is the actual solution for learning pathways, will get created. The communication site that's going to host the solution is going to get created. And also it's telling me that there will be some collection of active usage data. And I need to be okay with that as an organization to install learning pathways. I have to be okay with that. There is no option otherwise. Click on confirm. Okay, so it's going now. And as it says, you're going to get an email notification when it's done. I can also stay on this page. It shows me the provisioning progress. And when it's done, it will show that it is done. Usually it takes about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this a bit. So now here it is completed. In Outlook, here's what the email looks like if everything went OK. It's going to say that Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways template is now completed. And you can click on the open site to get to the site. Back in the provisioning page, if I click on the link, here we go, Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways. That's the communication site in SharePoint that got created. To make sure it's installed properly, I'm going to go ahead and click on Microsoft 365 Training. And here's all the different products. If I click on one of them, for example, let's do OneDrive. Here's all different playlists. I'll click on First Playlist. And here's the content that you can navigate through by going to Next and Next. And that's it. Now you just need to make sure that you provide links to your users so they know that this site exists and then they come here and consume this content.